folks welcome to microsoft flight simulator i'm real excited about this one i set up my hotas joystick my x52 logitech i got my new graphics card so the game it does look good i uh i tested a little bit just because i want to make sure the controls worked full disclosure i did go through and do some flight training because i didn't want to look like a a complete noob but uh, I think what we're gonna do is the discovery flights and from the sounds of it they take you to some pretty cool looking places and, and just kind of set you free so uh, yeah I, I practiced landing I practiced taking off so I don't know if any of that's involved here but wow they got a lot of places look at this like oh my god you can go to Egypt you can go to Rio de Janeiro, New York, Tokyo. Uh, I guess I gotta download some of these, but that's okay. Wow, these these look like they're gonna be a lot of fun. I might as well just start them in order. Just uh, let's just jump in. Mount Everest. All right, so we're gonna use what is this? A Beechcraft King Air. So uh, I think I was a Cessna, is what I practiced on, like a basic one. And, uh, yeah, so I have no idea how long these flights are. Let's just do it. Let's do it. Okay, I'm using the HOTAs, but it's telling me the Xbox controls. It's okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Now, I think I remember all of the controls that I need, but if not, there's a little menu at the top that I can select, which I'll show you. And, uh, oh, wow, I'm already, like, dissenting? What is going on? Am I descending? Okay. Well, I don't think there's any, like, real missions, per se, but if you look at the top, you can check out the control stick. Yep, there's my control stick. Um, during the tutorial, the numbers were handy because it was telling you which, what to press to do what. Okay, flight assistant. What does that do? Um, airports, display direction. I don't need that right now. Look at this! Woo! I gotta, like, be more careful with these controls. Did say I'm stalling? Oh, shoot. Ah! Let's go to cockpit view. Cockpit view. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so the tutorial trained me on... <laughs> on the Cessna. It looked totally different than this. Okay. Ah, oh, this is tricky. I can't even see Everest. And uh, let's see, where's my... I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. I wanna be able to see the scenery. There we go. All right, so my altitude's dropping. Where's my speed? Uh, Air speed is on the left, I'm okay. Okay. Well, let's just slowly turn around and look at some things. How about that? Try to do it slow, but... Oh, oh, too far. No. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, it went too far. Okay. Maybe because I'm going so fast. Oh, I'm, st I'm stalling again. Okay. So that's kind of cool. So they got like points of interest on here. And uh, let's see. When I was doing the tutorial, if you press the trigger, it was supposed to. I think it looked at the runway. So I guess that's where uh, we took off from. Oh my god, these graphics do look good. I mean, what did they do? They took, like, the satellite images? Why do I keep stalling? AI Pilot Assist is currently flying the aircraft to recover from a stall. Oh. Well, I'm going right into that mountain, though. Is it really doing it? I feel like it's not. What? It told me the AI took control. Okay. <laughs> like I said, folks, this is my first real, real attempt at this game. Alright, if I just do the controls a little softer, I think that might be good. Alright, I'm gonna try to turn around again, but this time, like, very lightly. Maybe I should slow down a little bit. Now, basic stuff that's, uh, I guess should have been obvious to me is... When I'm going into a descent, I can lower the engine power because I'm already going to pick up speed. 
Unless I want to go fast, descent, but that would be scary. We're gonna lose control doing that. Wow, okay, so we're doing a little basic banking here. Speed is good. My altitude is pretty steady too. Wow. Look at the sun. We are like high above the clouds. Now, supposedly this is online and we are looking at live weather. So I don't know how to test that out. I mean, I guess I'd have to find somewhere where I, I know exactly what weather's going on. My trigger's not working. Is it because I'm already aimed at the airport? Maybe. Man, this looks beautiful. I want to fly a little lower, but I'm scared I'm going to crash into something, so... Why don't we descend, like, a little bit? Just a little bit. So I'm going to lower the uh, engine power. Yeah, okay, I am descending. It doesn't seem too bad. Picking up speed, which makes sense. It's going down. I see, I'm already aimed at the airport, so that's probably why. I could try to land at the airport, but that could be embarrassing. Let's do it. I still want to fly a little lower, though, because I want to... I want to see... Let's see... Yeah, oh yeah, I'm going a lot faster than that Cessna did. That's probably why I lost control, because... The other one was going about 65 knots when I was descending. And now it looks like I'm going about 200, so quite a, quite a bit different. Oh my god, even the music, like, it's kind of exciting. Oh, too far. Bank too far. There we go. There we go. I must have some AI assist, like it said, because I only banked a little bit and then it kind of corrected me. So the airport's down there. I don't even know what direction it is. Ooh, this could be tricky. Also, I don't know if I have to ask permission to land. I'm hoping not, because that would be just entirely too complicated for uh, a leisure play like this. Ah, uh, let's see, at the beginning, when I set this up, it asked me, like, what kind of assist control I wanted. And I put, I put easy mode. You know, maybe when I get more comfortable, I'll, uh, I'll up it, but, uh, uh, anyway, so this X-52 Hodas I bought specifically for Elite Dangerous, but I always had this game in mind. Okay, we're going kind of fast. Let me see if I can... Since I'm descending, I might as well lower the engine a little bit. Okay, there we go. And, uh, okay, so I wanted to play Elite Dangerous, and I played a lot of that, and it's a good game, and I'll probably play it again on this channel. But I also wanted to do this, I wanted to do Squadrons. There's a lot of cool simulator games that uh, I want to take advantage of. Landing gear. Landing gear. Uh, landing gear. gear. Which button is landing gear? Landing gear. Landing gear. I don't know which landing button is landing gear, uh oh. Let's, let's try some stuff. Wait, did I randomly get it right? Wait, I don't need, wait where's the runway? Which way is it going? I mean, not that. Yeah, where is. I don't even see a runway. You see a runway? I'm trying to look in. No, it just says airport. Maybe there's no runway here. Is this like a helicopter airport, maybe? I don't know. I don't see a runway, though. That can't be the runway. Well, better pull up. I'm about to hit this mountain. Ah, speed! Pull up! Wow, oh, the colors look nice. Wow, okay, well... I didn't see a runway there, it's okay, let's let's move on. Fly somewhere else. Ah! Oh, too much bank, go back! Go back! Gosh! The controls were a lot easier on uh, Elite Dangerous. You know, it actually seemed like it did what I said more, but uh, this this is more of a simulator, so maybe I'm accommodating for for the wind or whatnot. Not entirely sure. 
And uh, what are we coming up on? It, the marker says Lukla. Lukla, if I said that right? Or like a little town. Oh my god, even those clouds look nice. Now, supposedly there was some big city update uh, that just came out. At least according to some other YouTubers that I watch. But, uh, I mean, I'm like out in the mountains. I don't feel like I'm going to see any big buildings here. There's another airport over there. I'm trying to decide how much do I want to spend in this level or if I want to try out some of the other ones, like maybe Egypt. Wow. Like, this... This kind of puts it in perspective, doesn't it? Just, just how big this planet is. I had no idea it looked like this over there. Man. Making me want to watch some National Geographic videos. I think I'm at full throttle. Oh, maybe it's... Maybe it should lighten up a little bit. Yeah. I'm in the red. Let me just lighten up a little bit. Okay. Uh, altitude keeps climbing. Where are we? We're at... Pretty high. Okay. 140... Or 14,000, excuse me. You can leave the flight whenever you want using escape. Um, alright. Well... What are we, 10 minutes in? I just did a little bank and it really went over there, so... Okay, so a lesson learned. I'm going real fast. You really got to just nudge it. Just nudge it. You can leave. All right. Well, let's leave. Uh, what? Oh, activities. Test your skills with landing challenges. You know, I might do some of those later when I get more comfortable. Control options. Uh, let's go to the main menu and let's try another one of those scenarios. Probably go to Giza. I'm already impressed. Like, this is... This is good. Okay, Discovery Flights. He's, uh... Alright. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Now, again, I don't know if it's doing live... Uh, let's see, wait. It should be nighttime in Giza. So, I guess uh, where we are now, we're not in, like, a live mode. I guess the scenarios are preset weather conditions or preset timings or lights, I mean. You know what I mean by lights? The sun. <laughs> Thankfully, it's loading pretty quickly. And okay, so right here, yeah, it says time 4.40 PM. I mean, it's, it's definitely not. <laughs> so here we go. Oh yeah, cool. Oh wait, is this that Cessna? Is it, This is the Cessna I trained on. Whoa, okay, wait, maybe I'm gonna be a little more comfortable with it this time. Let's test it out. Nope, I didn't mean to press that. It's got a camera. We're gonna go cockpit. Yeah, this is the Cessna I trained in. There we go. Yeah, this is a little more comfortable now. Look at that sun, though. What speed are we going? We're going pretty fast. Let me slow down the engine a little bit. You know what? I don't want this view. I want to actually be able to see... Oops. I want to see the pyramids. Let's go external. Maybe when I'm doing challenges, landing, etc. Then I'll probably do cockpit view. Altitude. We're at, what, 1,000? We're not very high. We're not going very fast. So that's good. I better keep up my throttle, though. I don't want to land. I want to slow down just long enough to see see the sights. Oh, there's some buildings over there. All right, we're going to fly by some of those buildings because I want to see what kind of detail this game's got. Use the smart cam to view a star landmark for three seconds. Oh, I just got an achievement for that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this is awesome. This is cool. Okay, see, controls are a little easier on the Cessna. Maybe it's because of the speed I'm going. I'm going to speed up a little bit. What else is there? There's a lot of buildings here. This is cool. Not very tall ones. But I'm assuming when we go fly over New York, it'll get taller. Let's do just a quick spin around here. Then I'll head towards that little, that little town or city. 
there's the Sphinx. I want to fly low enough to see it. Uh, but I don't want to crash, so let's be careful. I'm going too fast. Lower throttle. Oh, that's cool. That is so cool. God. I'm like ducking my head around. I know you can't see me, but I'm ducking my head around trying to look at things, but I'm looking at it on a TV, so. Oh my god, look at like the the lighting. Just the lighting of the sun hitting the buildings. It just it feels like I'm here. Alright, maybe I'm flying a little too low. Let me see. Oh, I'm okay. Oh no, I'm not. Yeah, I should probably climb. Oh, airspeed is dropping really bad. Okay. Oh! Oh no! I was about to stall. Right, I'm getting really too close to these buildings, so... Full throttle, and we're gonna pull up here. Is that another pyramid in the back there? Still getting better at this, folks, but I'm trying. Oh, there we go. That's weird. So when the game starts to take over, it had to reset my uh, my uh, joystick. That's weird. Wow, just look at that lighting. Crazy. All right, airspeed's good. I know. Maybe I'm not pulling up enough. I don't want to fly that high though, because I want to be able to see what's on the ground. Let's see if I can keep it steady. Oh, look at that! I can look behind me. Forgot about that. So the joystick has a ton of buttons on it, and I forgot that you could look around like that. Oh my gosh! You can look at the ground. I mean, come on, look, they just, okay, in all fairness, it looks like a satellite photo, but with like some 3D models put on it, but like at an angle, it looks perfect. Ah, I am really enjoying this. I don't know what the AOA there says, but it wants me to pull up a little bit. Dang. Oh, vertical speed, that's cool, so you can know how quickly you're dropping. Maybe you don't want to know that. <laughs> wow, so cool. Looking right at the sun. All right, I think I've seen enough of Giza, so I want to check out another one of these scenarios. Let's go back to main menu. All right. Oh, world map. That must be the one I was talking about that had the live live view. Create a flight plan and explore the world. I think I'm going to do that maybe on the next one. I, I might make this like a little mini series just to show off different parts of the game. This, this is incredible to me. All right. Do I want to go to Bora Bora? I might skip ahead. I want to I want to see some of the uh, buildings and uh, in their updates. So why don't we do New York? Just to, just to get that over with. Might have time for another two scenarios. We'll see. See the golf course. Oh, no, that's not a golf course. Oh, it's a baseball field, right? I don't know. I've been to New York one time, so cut me some slack. <laughs> Actually, the last time I was in New York was, I think, I think it was August of 2001. Yeah, exactly. You can figure out about the time I was there. Oh, yikes. Okay. Yeah, I'm flying kind of low already. Uh, what do we got? Where's, uh, where's Lady Liberty? Is she behind me? Kennedy International. Not Kennedy Space Station, that's in Florida. Uh, Empire Building. This is so cool, let me look down. Central Park, okay, yeah. Actually, the buildings really do look detailed. I mean, I'm far enough away where, you know, the illusion is sticks, but, but come on, that's, that looks good. I'm gonna ease up on the throttle a little bit. See if I can bank here. 
I want to find the Statue of Liberty. Isn't that at the southernmost part, or did I make that up? Actually, I have no idea. <laughs> no, I don't... can't be this. Is it the southern part? Well, I'm heading south, so if it, if it is, we'll see it. Uh, let's see, what are we looking at now? The Chrysler building? Okay. Oh, pull up. Come on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, look, getting a little closer to the buildings, but they still look nice. Oh, right there. Newark. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> I think I see it. There's a little tiny island off to uh, off in the distance there. That must be it. So we'll get there eventually. Okay, so Chrysler building. It looks a lot different from when I'm playing Spider-Man. <laughs> Empire State Building. Wow, look at that. That's that building detail I was talking about. Make sure I don't crash in anything. Empire State Building. Oh yeah, that is all. Woo wee. All right, so we're headed towards, it says One World Trade Center. And what else? some slight turning here. Kennedy International. I wonder, if, do they let you land in these scenarios? I don't know. Governor's Island. I'm sorry, I keep pressing the trigger. On this, you know, normally the trigger would be your, your gun, but on this game it highlights, I don't know, whatever it thinks you want to see. Not exactly sure what it chooses. But I see a uh, Statue of Liberty there, and it was at the southern point. I, I got that right. This is so cool. Look at those clouds. I can't tell if they're moving. I don't think they're moving. Maybe they're moving, or if they are, they're moving very slow. Uh, I saw a video, though, and... It looked like the clouds were moving kind of fast. It was like a tropical area. Uh, let me see if I can descend a little bit. Just kind of get a good view. This music. It's so good. It kind of like makes me think of that ride at Disneyland. Soaring over California, I think. Or Soaring Adventure. Uh, whatever it's called. I just need something to spray uh, orange smell or sea smell in front of me. Okay, Ellis Island. All right, and we're coming on Lady Liberty. Everybody wave at her. Oh, let me, can I look down? Oh, there we go, yeah. There she is, America. Right. We got time for one more scenario, before I call it. So let's see what we got. We saw a city. We saw Egypt. We saw the mountains. Getting a good little sampler here. It's amazing. All right. What do we got? San Francisco, Yosemite. Uh, London might be cool. S city, though. I want to see if there's anything with like really cool landmarks. Uluru Kata Juta National Park. Well, that looks cool. How long is it going to take to download it? Oh, not owned? Oh, do I have to pay for these? Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna explore that next time. Let me just look for one I already got. Uh, let's see, we got Singapore. That might be cool. I don't know. Let's do, uh, how about Bora Bora? That was next up on the list anyway. I gotta see how much those cost. Maybe maybe after this, we could check out the, uh, the store. I think it would be good to know. Wow, that looks, that looks pretty. Oh, and look, there's a runway there. 
Oh, we could land. We could try to land. Although I think I'm supposed to land in the water with this kind of plane. Just from looking at it. Does it have wheels? I don't even know. I don't think so. I think it's meant to land in the water. All right, full throttle. I just want to get a view of everything around us. Okay, so we're pretty secluded in the water. Yep. Amazing. Now, I think I have this set up to record in uh, 2K resolution. So, you know, there's probably 4K resolution videos online somewhere, but this is what I'm going to load. It takes like, I want to see two to two and a half hours. And I have really good internet, so I think it's YouTube's fault. It takes like two and a half hours to load a 30 minute 4K video. So, all right, let's try practicing some flying maneuvers here. This ship seems, or this uh, plane seems to be listening to me, so that's kind of nice. That is amazing. Just look at the colors. You can see the sand underneath. You can see the water where it gets deep. The greens. I, I, I don't know if I can get more realistic than this. I guess better would be higher resolution. Um, but I don't know. This. <laughs> If I recorded this without the UI and showed it to someone, I don't think they'd know it was a video game. Really don't think they would. Wish the uh, recording could show just exactly what I'm seeing. All right, oop. Just wanna get a bottom view here. Every time I do this, I aim, or the I pitch the uh, plane up. I don't wanna accidentally crash. Mount Otamanu. This looks like a fun place. I wonder if these are people that live here or if this is like a uh, a resort, so some sort of base or what? I don't know. A lot of a lot of buildings though. This plane does not go very fast. first one did. What were we going like? Was it like 10,000 knots? Or? No, it wasn't that fast. It was 200 knots. <laughs> 10,000 knots. Oh my god. No, we were at 12 to 14,000 uh, feet, I think. This one, we're not that high up. I think in the training, the Cessna took me to 6,000 feet. That was about when I had to uh, level myself with the ground. I didn't feel the need to show that in this video. I thought this would be a lot better just to, just to look around. Actually, I think I can use my uh, mouse while I'm flying. Oh, that's kind of cool. Or shift. Uh, oh yeah, I can hold shift and look around. This is pretty cool. I just got to keep it level. That's fine. This seems pretty level. I'm descending, but it's very slow. Not a problem. Wow, look at that. Look, there's two of us in there. I don't know who else is in there. Maybe my trainer. That was beautiful. Okay. So, like I said, I want to... Oh, not activities. No, nope. let's go back. I want to see what the store looks like. Like, how much are these packs? Cause I mean, if I've got the whole world, can't I just go to these places? Or these are like specialized ones that uh, someone had to pick the right time of day and craft the uh, lighting. So uh, let's say uh, Tokyo, let's see. Uh, let's see, Japan, not installed. Go to content manager, let's see what that's gonna do. Oh, so it's not a store, so this one's a download? One of them said store though. Which one was it? I think it was this one. Yeah, go to marketplace. Let's see what happens when we go to the marketplace. It says it's free. Oh, oh, good, good on you. 
What's even better is I'm on the uh, Xbox Game Pass playing this, so not free per se, but uh, you get so many games on there. Like everything I review is from that that program. So, okay, so there are things you have to pay for. I didn't realize that. Probably good, we're checking this out. That's $25 for the Airbus? For one ship? Plane, whatever. Um, wow, F-18, challenges, 14. Oh man, you could spend a lot of money here. Wait, so you have to purchase airports too? So, so Japan, Tokyo is free, but these are not. Oh, this could get, this could get expensive. Okay, some are free. World update. Uh, I wonder how much space I need if I want to download like all of the free ones. Let's go to airports. So, free only, on sale. Oh my God, there's so many. Here, let's go to. Uh, where are we? Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. San Luis County. Where am I? Let's look up uh, LAX. LAX. $10? $10 for LAX. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to end this video on a bummer, so let's get out of here. Folks, that was a lot of fun. I think I'm going to make some more videos. Maybe we'll do some challenges, do some free roam or whatnot. Uh, so let's not end it on the fact that uh, you have to pay. Let's end it on what I got. And I got free roam, which maybe I'll do free roam next time. And then if I keep this series going, we can attack some of the, uh, the challenges. So... Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.